The moon is calling again. Half a century after the last human footsteps, NASA is readying a manned mission aiming to return astronauts to the lunar surface. But behind the triumph lies turbulence, delays, costs, and questions about when humanity will finally touch lunar soil again. Here's a report. The moon, silent, waiting. More than 50 years since Apollo astronauts last walked its dust. Now, NASA is preparing to send humans back. The mission, Artemis. Its target, the lunar South Pole, a region never before explored by astronauts. This is not just about planting flags, it is about discovery. Scientists believe the South Pole holds frozen water trapped in craters, untouched for billions of years. Water that could sustain astronauts. Water that could be split into hydrogen and oxygen to fuel rockets deeper into space. In short, the moon could be the launch pad to Mars. NASA is headed back to the moon, months sooner than originally planned. The first crewed flight in its Artemis program could make the trip around the moon and back as early as February. The crew of Artemis II will not land on the moon but will be the first to travel beyond low Earth orbit since 1972. Artemis III, currently planned for 2027, will involve a moon lander variant of SpaceX's Starship rocket. The multi-billion dollar series of missions rivals a similar effort by China which is aiming for a 2030 astronaut moon landing. The dream of walking on the moon again is alive. The clock is ticking and the world watches to see if this new era will soar to new heights. Or if it will be a race against time, money and gravity itself. Your report, Leon, World is One.